Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Learning Path. This is Dr. B. Mina, Associate Professor, Head Department of Commerce and Vice Principal Shift One, Competition College of Arts and Science, Adaya Chennai. In this video, you are going to learn how to calculate the earnings of the workers under Merrick's multiple P state system. Look at the explanation, how to compute the earnings under Merrick's differential P state system. Under the system, we need to calculate the standard output. So as per the company's target. Once you finalize the standard output as per the standard time fixed by the company, we need to calculate the level of performance of workers in percentage. So how to calculate the level of performance of each and every worker in percentage by using this formula. The formula is actual output divided by standard output into 100. Once you calculated the level of performance of each and every worker in percentage form, you will apply the rules given below. The rules as per Merrick's are, if any worker found their performance is less than 83 percentage means they are eligible to get only the ordinary piece rate. So the first rule as per Merrick system is, if any worker's performance is below 83%, below 83 in the sense, one percentage to 82 percentage. So he is eligible to get ordinary piece rate. If you found any worker's performance, level of performance is between 83 percentage to 100 percentage means that worker is eligible to get 110 percentage of ordinary piece rate. If any worker's performance, level of performance is reaching more than 100, 101, 102 like that means he is eligible to get 120 percentage of ordinary piece rate. So this is all about how to calculate the earnings of the workers under Merrick's differential piece rate system, okay? So as per the system, we need to calculate the standard output. Standard output to be determined by the company as per the standard time. Once you found out the standard output and compare the standard output with your actual output by using this formula to calculate the, the performance, that performance has to be converted in percentage. So what is this level of performance in percentage by using this formula, actual output divided by standard output into 100. Once you came to know what is the percentage of performance each and every worker and apply these three rules. If any worker's performance is between one to 82 percentage means he is eligible to get ordinary piece rate. If any worker's performance is between 83 to 100 means he will get only 110 percent of piece rate, okay? And if any worker's performance is more than 100, above the 100, 101, 102, like that means he is eligible to get 120 percentage of the ordinary piece rate. Let me check one problem, how to calculate the earnings of the worker under Merrick system. Before that, I want to give a reminder about if the problem doesn't have the information about the piece rate, the formula will be standard rate per hour and standard divided by standard production per hour. This formula already I shared and explained in the previous video. So once again, I want to give you the reminder if the problem doesn't have the information of the piece rate, apply this formula to calculate the piece rate. Okay, and the earnings formula is whatever method you are following, either Taylor's or Merrick's or Gans. So how to calculate the earnings, actual output into differential piece rate. Okay, and sometimes the problem may incorporate some other question, how to calculate earnings under straight piece system. The formula is earnings is equal to actual output into straight piece rate. Okay, now look at this problem. Calculate the earnings of the workers A and B under straight piece rate system and Merrick's differential piece. So as for this problem, we have two questions. One is we need to calculate earnings under straight piece rate system. That's the, what is the formula I shared in the previous video. It is actual output into straight piece rate. Again, I want to give you the reminder. You can make use of this formula to calculate earnings under straight piece rate system. And what is the next one, Merrick's? Merrick's, we need to uh, convert all the workers level of performance into percentage. And uh, after calculate the level of workers performance percentage means you will apply the three rules. That is 
below 83 percent means ordinary piece weight 83 to 100 means 110 percent of piece weight and above 100 uh, percentage means you will get 120 percentage of piece rate okay and what are the other information available rate per hour is given so piece rate is not given so when the piece rate is not given i told you the formula what is the formula standard rate per hour divided by standard production per hour to apply the formula to calculate piece rate and we have the information standard time per unit you will take one minute so the company is fixing the target they are giving they are allowing only one minute to produce one unit okay this is the standard and what is the actual given actual is worker a 384 worker b is 450 worker c is 552 all three workers are work for how many hours eight hours so all three workers performance is given for eight hours means then this one minute information has to be converted for eight hours okay now look at that first i made a calculation calculation standard output for eight hours one minute is equal to one unit means 60 minutes is equal to what 60 minutes is equal to one hour so 60 units i get so 60 units for one hour means what is for eight hours 480 units so i came to know what is the standard output for eight hours that gives me 480 units so i calculated i completed calculating the standard output for eight hours once i calculate the standard output then i'll move on to calculate the piece rate because piece rate is not given the problem use this in uh, formula standard rate per hour divided by standard production per hour what is the rate per hour is given the problem the problem itself has the information the rate per hour is 1.8 right so 1.8 Standard production per hour, already we made a calculation, the working notes. What is the standard production per hour? 60 units, right? So 60. So I will get the piece rate at 0 0.03. Okay, I found the straight piece rate. So I will complete calculating the earnings of the workers A, B, C under straight piece rate system. Under straight piece rate system, what is the formula? The earnings is equal to actual output into straight piece rate. So A is production, B is production, C is production multiplied by the piece rate what we calculated i uh, we will come to know what is the earnings of a b and c under which method straight piece rate system okay and then the next question the same problem is what is that metric system so calculation of level of performance of the a b c under metric system first of all we need to calculate the level of performance of each and every worker under metric piece system by using this formula actual output divided by standard output into 100 what is the actual output of A, B, C will be in the numerator. And standard output we already calculated in the working notes, 480. That will be in the denominator for all the calculation. So I'll come to know what is the percentage. A's percentage is 80, B's percentage is 93.75, C's percentage 115. So A will get ordinary piece rate, B will get 110% piece rate, C will get 120 percent of piece rate because c is above 100 b is between 83 to 100 and a is below 83 okay look at this earnings how i made the calculation as per merit system so calculation earnings of uh, for a b c and the merit system for a is equal to normal piece rate is applicable for performance below 83 percentage so a's performance is 80 only so you will get only normal ordinary piece rate so what is his production 384 piece rate is 0 0.03 because his level of performance is below 83 percent so you will get only uh, ordinary piece rate okay so 384 into 0 0.03 that gives you 11.52 so years uh, a is earning is applicable for the first rule because his performance is only 80 percentage which is below 83 as per the rule of merit so the first rule will be applicable for b the second rule will be applicable why second rule will be applicable because b's performance is 93.75 percentage so he is eligible to get 110 percent normal piece rate so what is b's production 450 what is a piece rate 0 0.03 and into 110 percentage when you are doing the calculation the calculator 450 into 0 0.03 into 110 press the per percentage then you will get this answer 14.85 how to get the answer for c c's performance is 115 percentage so he is above 
uh, 100 percentage. So he is eligible to get 120 percent normal fees, right? So B's earnings is equal to 552 into 0 0.03 into 120 percentage, 19.872. This is all about how to calculate earnings under Merrick's fees rate system. Thanks for watching my video. See you again in next video. Until then, bye-bye.